What's up guys? This is the question that I get most every single day is how to install the Android SDK. So I'm going to be making a video on that today. I know it's been, I've been at getting this question for almost two years, but here's what you're going to want to do. Go to Google. It's google.com, pretty self-explanatory. Search for Android SDK. And it is the first link that pops up. I get a lot of comments of people not being able to find it. You're not looking hard enough. <laughs> No offense, but you're honestly not looking hard enough. It's right there. You're going to go ahead and download this and accept the terms and conditions, of course. And if you have a 32-bit, download that. I have a 64-bit Windows 8 computer, so I'm going to be downloading this. And you can download it into your downloads folder on your desktop. It doesn't matter. What you're going to want to do is just hit save. And once you download that, I'm going to go ahead and open up my downloads folder. And you see I have the zip right here. What you're going to do is right click on that zip file. You can use extract all if you don't have something like 7-zip. But since I have that, I'm going to go ahead and extract to ADT. But I already have it, so I'm going to go down here and go ahead and see that we have the Eclipse SDK. So we're going to go back and we're going to right click on this folder. Go ahead and choose copy. Go to your C drive or whichever um, hard drive that you use as your main Windows drive. Go ahead and paste it on this. Once you do that, you're going to go ahead and open it up. Go to SDK, go to Platform Tools, and you see you have ADB and you have Fastboot. Now, this isn't really helping you out much because you can't go to something like your HTC One folder and open up a command prompt and go ahead and start typing out ADB commands because it'll give you ADB is not recognized, right? So, what you're going to need to do to fix that is click on this it'll give you this what you're going to do is go ahead and copy that go to your control panel if you have windows 7 it'll be the start button on the bottom and then just go to control panel and what you're going to do is go down to system and once you open up system go to advanced system settings go to environment variables scroll down to where you see paths or path right there go ahead and choose edit and you're going to want to go to the very last position that you can and you're going to go ahead and enter the semicolon and then what you're going to want to do is control V and you're going to paste that so you'll see this that gives you the platform tools now I have already done this so I'm going to go ahead and back out of this real quick but once you do that you can go ahead and click OK click OK again click OK again exit out of that exit out of this minimize that <laughs> just close everything close everything you don't need it and you can go ahead and enter ADB and go ahead and hit enter if you get a, all those list of commands that you were allowed to do you have done this right you are good to go now for fast boot let's go ahead and type fast boot and if you get a list of commands for fast boot you also are good to go on fast boot now how does this benefit you what you like, what you can do with the Android SDK is control your phone. So first, you want to type ADB devices, and it will show you the list of devices attached. Of course, mine's not, but if yours is, you will see a serial number right here. It'll give you like HTC something. And what you can do is choose ADB reboot bootloader. And once your device is in the bootloader, I know no devices is found, but you can go ahead and do fast boot devices just to make sure it's connected. You don't have to, but you can do like say on an HTC device, fast boot, reboot, RUU to be able to flash a device or something, flash something on your device. Or you can go ahead and choose fast boot reboot or fast boot, I don't know, reboot bootloader or fast boot reboot recovery. I mean, you can just choose anything. This allows you to control your phone from your computer. So you can do things like Moonshine S off. You can do things like Rev1. If you have a different device like Motorola or something, I don't know what you do with that, but <laughs> I didn't really do any um, ADB or fast food commands. But So that's pretty much it, guys. If you need any more help at all, just leave a comment below, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. But this also gives you a few short commands, like so you can fast food flash, so if you're trying to flash a recovery, let's just say your device is already in Fastboot USB, what you're going to want to do is Fastboot Flash. You can't just type Fastboot Flash Open Script Recovery. That's twerp, by the way. You got to do Fastboot Flash Recovery, then say twerp. 
is what you named it, twerp.img. I know it's not, it's named like Open Script Recovery or something, but let's just keep it simple. And you're going to go ahead and hit enter, and it's going to flash twerp to your recovery partition. If you don't include recovery and you just fa fast boot flash twerp image, it's going to be like, where am I sending this? What's it doing? You're going to have a problem. It's, it's going to say failed because it's not going to know where to flash that twerp image. So you got to include the file name right here. I mean, it's again, not that hard. You guys probably know how to do this, but okay. So I have connected my droid DNA. So I'm going to do ADB devices because I want to make sure that my device is connected. You see, it gives me back my serial number right here. So I know that my device is connected. I can do things like ADB reboot bootloader. And you hear that noise. It means it. You know, rebooted my device. I'm gonna do fast boot devices just to make sure if I can type it right. Just to make sure our device is connected again and see we have the same serial number. And I can do things like fast boot, reboot, I don't know, RUU. Let's do that. And I typed it wrong. So fast boot, reboot. Oh, wait, never mind, my bad. It's fast boot OEM, reboot. You. That's what that's what happens when you have too many devices. You start losing stuff. And so now it's in the RUU mode. You guys can't really see it, but it's there. You see it said start verify, okay, and finished. All these beeping noises everywhere. And what you can do now is fast boot, reboot, bootloader. There we go. Enter the correct command the second time. Say that you flashed a new, I don't know, bootloader or something, a package to your phone. And now you can just go ahead and fast boot, reboot. And there you go, it's gonna reboot your phone. See, like I said, you guys can do anything you want. Don't mess up your phone and blame it on me. <laughs> Please don't. But if you guys need any more help, just leave a comment below and I'll try to help you out as much as possible. And I'll see you guys in the next video. If you guys like this, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot.